If you guys have never had a Sid's Onion Burger, it's one of the true authentic onion burgers that came from the Great Depression. You're missing out. Stick around. We're going to show you how to make them. Welcome back to the channel, guys. In today's video, we're going to be showing you the original onion burger. Guys, a lot of you, I don't talk about it a whole lot, but I grew up in West Oklahoma City. And the original onion burger was started back in El Reno, which is west of Oklahoma City. During the Depression times, you're going to, and guys, I want you to understand, number one, this is going to be an authentic video. We're going to teach you how that they actually started the onion burger and why. Back after, right after the Great Depression and everything, everybody was broke. And what everybody wanted was something that they could eat that would give them a good full meal. And ultimately, that onion burger got started in El Reno, Oklahoma. We've got our blackstone griddle going. We've got the medium. This is almost on high heat here in the center. And then we're going to do the buns and stuff on the outside edges. But what I'm going to tell you is, back in the Great Depression, hamburger beef was a commodity. You're going to see people cooking these things with 80, 15, 90, 10, or whatever. Back when I was a kid growing up, you had hamburger meat. And essentially what they did is they would overload these burgers with onions so that you felt full when you got done eating. Hamburger meat was hard to come by. There wasn't a lot of it. And the stuff that was around was very, very expensive. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you kind of the, what the real onion burger was made out of. And then we're going to make some great American overindulged lot bigger onion burgers so let's get to the video we started this video almost three months ago and we're just now getting to it again guys i apologize for the delay but let's go ahead and get to it if you can see this burger right here it's real small and it is really small compared to what a normal burger size would be so we're going to set it down and we're going to smash it down just like they would have back in el reno right after the great depression we're going to smash that thing good. We're going to get it smashed down. You're going to hear a bunch of different vocabulary words. You're going to hear people talking about the caramelization or the what. It, guys, they didn't know all those words. Back when I was a kid growing up, you went and ate a cheeseburger for crying out loud. There wasn't any of that fancy vocabulary. We're going to smash that thing out. The griddle is not quite hot enough. But you get the gist of the idea. We're going to let that warm on up a little bit more. We're going to put a little more of this. It's just regular cooking oil on it down. And then we're going to pile some onions on top of this thing, guys. Back in the original onion burger days, there was more onions than there was burger meat. And that's simply because not only was it expensive, it was hard to come by. You're going to see people <laughs> teaching you how to make an onion burger. Look at the size of this beast right here. This thing is absolutely huge. This one is absolutely huge. This one, pretty dang good size along with these. Again, there wasn't a lot of spices back then. We just basically, all we've done is we've made these hamburger patties and we put a little bit of garlic salt simply because I love garlic salt. If you guys watch this video all the way to the end, you're going to see me, I'm going to do some jalapenos because you guys that's been watching the channel for a long time you know I love 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 the spicy food but we're gonna get these things smashed out we're gonna pile the onions on them I'll show you a little bit of b-roll in the background where we went in and we used one of those mandolins to shave these onions down real small oh man I just tore that burger you know what it's all right guys because that would have happened back in the Great Depression days too. You just smash that thing back over there. There's nothing perfect in life except for a good meal and a good wife. And if you got both of them, you're blessed, brother. You got that one. It's the same thing. It's kind of tearing on me. Just keep smashing it out. Because the whole idea behind this onion burger is it's going to be delicious. <laughs> Now then, again, like I say, I'll show you a little bit of B-roll. We're going to put some of these onions on here. And that, 
I don't I don't actually have enough for all these burgers that I'm making because I'm making myself lunch tomorrow also. Go ahead and we're gonna put a little bit of water over here, a little bit of grease over here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shove these onions or the jalapenos down here. Guys, they didn't have jalapeno burgers back then, but you know me, if you've been watching the channel, I love the spicy food. We're gonna get these jalapenos toasted up nicely. Angie's gonna grab the uh, butter, and we're gonna uh, butter these things up and get these buns started to toast as well. You guys do not have a black stone. I'll tell you right now, you're missing out. These things are phenomenal. You can cook up an entire meal in three minutes. And as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six burgers on here. That's going to be enough for several people. Again, we'll smash these down. The true onion burgers right over here. I'll have Angie zoom in on this one here. So you see how it's just, these onions are just smoking over here on top of this hamburger patty. And that's how they would have done it. There was more onions on the burger than the was burger. Simply because nobody had any money and nobody could afford beef. These bigger, fatter ones is what what got. It's making me gain weight, fellas. I'm not gonna lie. If you're uh, worried about your weight, don't eat a bunch of greasy cheeseburgers. <laughs> Again, we'll go ahead and flip this one. That's about ready. You see, I'll have Angie zoom in on that. But look how caramelized and awesome that hamburger patty is. We're gonna go ahead and finish grilling them onions on up. And again, when they flipped it right, like I just did, they'd go ahead and pile up some more onions because there was a lot more onions than hamburger meat because they were a lot easier to come by. Oh man, those jalapenos really, <laughs> really smell good. I wish you guys were here. My wife doesn't like the hot and spicy, so make sure when you're doing this, if you're doing it like my wife, um, Get those seeds off there because she ain't going to want seeds on our burger. Again, guys, this meal takes less than three minutes. You're watching this in actual time. And this is truly how Johnny's would have done it and how Johnny still does it. Oh, crud. It's Sid. My wife just informed me of the name of the place is Sid. I've been calling it Johnny's this whole time. That's okay, the egg is really good too. Yeah. Sid's onion burgers. Sid's onion burgers. Yep. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn this hot center off. We're gonna turn the edges off. Guys, we're essentially done. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start plating this up. <clears throat> I'm going to put some cheese on my big fat burgers because I like cheese. Angie does not like cheese. But these burgers are almost done. They're going to be onion grilled, onion fried. Just like what would you would have seen back in the day. <laughs> well, I'm going to let the tops get a little bit. Here's burger number one. And again, guys, they would have piled more onions on than what I've got. I'm doing the best I can with the half onion that I did through the mandolin. But that burger right there is perfect. And that's what you would have seen back in the day.
Oh, I think I got two bums over here that are on the wrong side. Put that over there. Put this cheesy one right there. Get these all gathered up. Put these right there. And again, guys, you know me. We're fixing to have some spicy burgers. You guys are new to the black stone, I can tell you the biggest secret that nobody tells you. Clean this rascal as you go. You're going to wash me here in a second. This griddle is still really hot. Let's go ahead and put that on there because I like my spicy. I'll throw these other extra jalapenos over here on the tray. That way they're not getting on Angie's burger. Clean as you go guys and this thing is so simple. Keep the maintenance going on it. Keep it clean. And that wraps it up, guys. We're going to run into the kitchen real quick. It's getting kind of smoky in here because I did burn these on purpose just like you would have seen them do back in the grills way around the same time as the Great Depression. Again, guys, if you like our video, give us a big thumbs up. We appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. May you have a blessed week. And if there's something else that you'd like to see us make on this Blackstone griddle, be sure to comment below. And until next week's video comes out, be sure to click this link right up here. I'm going to take a break for just a second. We're going to readjust the cameras. I'm going to show you me taking a bite of this thing. And I'm going to take a bite of the onion burger, not the jalapeno burger, because that wasn't a thing back then. I'm just telling you guys, make this your own, make it yours, and just enjoy your Blackstone griddle. Again, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. May you have a blessed week. And let's get outside and make something happen. If you guys have never had a Sid's onion burger, it's one of the true, authentic onion burgers that came from the Great Depression. You're missing out. Stick around. We're going to show you how to make them. That is what an onion burger is supposed to taste like.